Blockchain energy utilization is extremely misunderstood in the sense of input versus output. And when you're looking at sustainable systems, you want to be able to measure the amount of energy that is put into the system and be able to extract the utility from that system. So Proof of ESG was started almost three years ago where we wanted to tackle one of the core problems which is how do you measure and value the actual transactional footprint, you know, the carbon footprint for each transaction. And you know, to be able to provide a future system where we would potentially displace energy from legacy systems today, we need to prove that this is a more efficient system. As Satoshi Nakamoto had said back in 2009 that Bitcoin could scale beyond the likes of Visa from day one, we never really saw that actually take place. Instead, what we see is technology that requires 98% or more of the actual energy input to only provide less than 1% of the actual transactional output. And this is extremely restrictive beyond just not allowing for the use of structured or unstructured data, but just primarily as a payment system. Now we're very limited at the use case and utility that, that could provide. So proof of ESG was to provide an ESG stamp or authentication of an actual carbon footprint of business or organization that is utilizing blockchain technology to meet their innovative needs in the future. One of the tools in, in proof of ESG that we're extremely excited about is the ability for anybody to stick a transaction ID in and compare that actual footprint to other technologies, whether BTC or legacy technologies. And when you're comparing it to you know, BTC or other digital ledger technologies, you, you start to see a stark difference in the actual carbon footprint. And so to provide some type of reputational um, endorsement as well as you know advocacy for more sustainable technologies that's very similar to the automobile industry right as far as the ability for them to always improve the energy efficiency of their cars and their vehicles.